Welcome to LLIB 1115. This class is called Introduction to Information Research, although I recognize that you probably have done research before. However, the standards for information research change quite a bit for the college level, so this class is to help bridge the gap for those entering a college program. Just like walking into a wood shop, there are a variety of tools for different purposes and abilities. Don't forget what you learned in your previous education. We are going to build on that to empower you to use more sophisticated tools and materials for successful research projects on the college level. In the ISU catalog, this course satisfies General Education Objective 8, which has specific goals for students to learn. There are five student learning outcomes that this course addresses. First, students need to recognize when information is needed and what type of information will satisfy the need. Usually this is to address a particular interest, curiosity, or a more formal issue such as for a class assignment. The next outcome is to determine what type of source would best address the information need and to be efficient in locating that source. However, frequently there are many answers and types of information and it is important to recognize trustworthy and credible sources. In addition, students need to understand how information is created, accessed, and the controls applied to ethically and legally use the information. Last, the effective use of information as it is applied to the original question or information demonstrates the culmination of information literacy. To address these learning outcomes, this course will facilitate your learning about research by doing research. We will begin with a discussion of information literacy concepts such as academic integrity, copyright, and other issues related to how information is developed and controlled. There will be activities to refine your skills to manage and organize information. In a few short weeks, we will plunge into the research process by selecting a topic, using resources to locate sources and evaluate them. At the end of the semester, you will share an annotated bibliography of the sources you recommend and a presentation on what you learned through your research. In more general terms, this class is about being successful in the use of library resources and services with the goal of developing an awareness of the resources available to you. Learning about the resources includes understanding how to locate them and how to use the information in research and class projects ethically and legally. As more and more resources are available online, you might not need to go to the physical library. However, it will be helpful for you to become familiar with an academic library, so I encourage you to visit the one closest to you. This class uses Moodle, which is accessed through the ISU homepage. At the top on the right, there is a button to schedule an appointment with me. Know that you can ask me questions anytime via email, phone, or stop by my office. However, I do have other responsibilities, so I encourage you to schedule a time with me whenever you see a need. I am usually at my office in the ISU Library in Idaho Falls, Monday through Thursday, from 9 until 4.30. And, on Fridays, I am available at the ISU Library in Pocatello. I have an office on the third floor. The main part of the Moodle course page has the resources and activities that build the course. In the general section, you will find the course syllabus, which includes the course goals, the lists of assignments, and a tentative schedule for the semester. Please know that I may make adjustments, so consider this a tentative plan for the semester. Also, the text for this class is posted and available for you to download and or print. There is a small section about citation styles, and there are helpful citation websites that I will make available to you. A new edition of the MLA Handbook was released in 2016, and a new edition of the Chicago Manual of Style came out in 2017. 
a new edition of the APA manual was released in 2020. If you want to delay the purchase of a style manual at this point, you can use a writer's resource or other textbook that includes citation help, but make sure whatever you use is based on the latest edition. Also on Moodle, there is a list of things to work on each week. I try to update this every Sunday, but those tasks are also listed for each week in the syllabus. On the far left, there is a list of weeks, and you may click on each week to go directly to the material for that week. If you click on August 17th, you will notice several things. First, notice that the topic of each section is in green, and the activities and resources are in orange, with an icon that denotes whether it is an assignment, quiz, video file, or other type of resource. The black text is for explanations and descriptions. Also, notice that some activities and resources are not available until you have performed preparatory activities. To help you track your completion, on the right there are boxes for you to mark when you have completed the required tasks. Also, for most activities, there are supplementary materials for each topic. These materials have been shared with me and are helpful to understand the material presented in the videos and text but are not required. There are many other features in Moodle. I encourage you to explore and check out what you can. This week, remember to introduce yourself and do the knowledge survey, and there are a couple quizzes. The syllabus and Moodle system are developed as a tentative plan for the semester, but there may be changes implemented. The announcements posted in Moodle will also be sent to your ISU email account, so check frequently for revisions. Also, when you look through the syllabus and Moodle course, you might notice that I plan to meet with each of you at least twice this semester, either in person, in my office, by phone, or via Zoom. The first conference will be during the sixth week. We'll talk about your research topic and make sure it fits the parameters of the course. The other conference will be at the end of the semester to address any issues you may have about the final projects and the exam. However, I encourage you to stop by my office any time to address questions on any assignments, review material from the videos, or get research assistance for another course. I'm excited to meet each of you and explore the resources available to you.